What's happening, YouTubers? Time for my next video. I thought I'd do a little special edition video for you today on some of my gear that I use when I'm out riding because a lot of my fans have been asking me, hey, Scott, what kind of gear do you use when you ride? That's literally the question they ask me. So I thought, why don't I do a video on the gear that I use when I ride? Super cool, like everything else about this street glide. So let's go with it. I'm going to start things off here with one of the most important pieces of equipment that you can possibly have on a motorcycle. Now a lot of you guys out there are going to say, Nah, I don't run a real helmet, it's going to mess up my pretty hair, and it, it makes my head hot, and I don't want this, and I don't want that. Let me tell you what you don't want. You don't want this melon hitting this hard surface at any speed. Low speed, high speed. High speed won't matter. High speed, you're probably going to not make it through anyway. But low speed, it might just turn you into a vegetable. Or, you know, just like a half wit or something. And then, then you got to live the rest of your days looking at your beautiful motorcycle that you can't ride anymore because you're a vegetable. Because you refuse to wear something as simple as protective headgear when you're out on your beautiful motorcycle. To everybody his own. But I like my bike and I want to ride it a bunch. And I don't want to be a vegetable, so I'm going to wear my helmet. This helmet is my favorite. I have a couple of helmets, but this is my favorite. This is a Biltwell. Biltwell Bonanza. DOT approved. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's a Biltwell Bonanza. And you know what? It's a throwback to the old retro days. Back to the 70s, you know? Dudes wanted to be cool, but they wanted to protect their melon, and uh, it's not really a whole lot to it. This is uh, the flat black. It ain't really got any pretty pieces on it. It's got excellent stitching and quality as far as the helmet itself goes. Super inexpensive helmet though. I think I paid like 90 bucks for this helmet, which I thought was an extremely good deal, uh, and it is an extremely good deal, especially for a quality item like this Biltwell helmet. Uh, I've added a few things to it to pretty it up a little bit because I like to be pretty. Um, got my awesome Tesla sticker here because they are the America's number one rock band. Have been for 35 years and still kicking ass. Um, I got my little uh, American pig here. I wish I could remember what the surf shop was down in uh, Port Walton Beach, Florida where I got that. But I don't remember. But, but I thought it was pretty cute. Little pig there with a the flag on it. I got my uh, forged sticker here. A lot of people say to me, Scott, what is the forged sticker all about? Well, let me tell you what it's about. It's about respect. It's about paying your respect to those who have served and, and given the ultimate sacrifice. Because what forged clothing does, it's a clothing brand, by the way, guys. And what they do is they, uh, they make super cool t-shirts and other things, shorts, I guess, and some, some other stuff. But I have the t-shirts. And uh, the very first t-shirt I got from Forge was the Chris Kyle, uh, the legend, memorial t-shirt. Raise money for uh, Chris Kyle's family, pay off his uh, settlement that he was supposed to pay to uh, that jackass, can't remember his name right now, Jesse Ventura because he uh, made up a story about beating up Jesse Ventura or something, I, I'm not sure. But the uh, poor guy was killed by a guy that he was trying to help with PTSD, and the guy shoots him in the back, and then uh, Jesse Ventura thinks it's a good idea to go ahead and sue the widow for like a million bucks or something. So anyway, they were selling these t-shirts. If you bought one, you know, some of the proceeds or all of it, I'm not even 100% sure, went to that fund to help pay that, uh, that settlement off. So anyway, that's, uh, they sent me this cool sticker there when I bought my t-shirt. And then of course this is just my own personal homage to Chris Kyle because he was an American badass and I should never forget that. And uh, even though he didn't die on the battlefield, I mean really he kind of did because he was just trying to do the Lord's work and help a poor guy out with PTSD and that poor guy decided to flip his wig and shoot two people and kill him, shoot him in the back I might add. Um, and that's never cool to anybody. But anyway, so that's that's the helmet I wear. It's pretty cool. 
again, like everything else about this bike, you got to keep up with the cool factor. So that's that. If you got any other questions about that, just go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. I probably will not get back to you on it, but you never know. I might. This channel is for fun. It's not really for real information. So let me go ahead and bring you guys over here and show you what I got in my saddlebag. Now that I have a bike with saddle. Jesus, that's a loud little airplane. I don't know if you guys can see that. That sucker's tiny and it's loud. Should be a law against that. But anyway, now that I got saddlebags, I get to carry a bunch of stuff with me in my saddlebags. And so we'll just go through it real quick. You gotta have an extra ball hat because you always gotta have a ball hat in there because that silly helmet messes up your hair and you don't want to not look pretty. So I carry that with me. Got a pair of clear glasses for at night because believe it or not, the sunglasses don't work real well when it gets dark on you. I got my uh, mechanics gloves. These were not expensive at all. Nothing I have is expensive to be honest with you except for this motorcycle. Um, I think I paid like $12 for these mechanics gloves. I've used them for over a year. They're in perfect condition. I don't know if you can really see the condition of the gloves, but uh, they're excellent gloves. They were inexpensive, and I love them. Um, I have the clear built well shield. I don't think we really need to take it out and see it, but it's basically it's a bubble shield there for the helmet. That's also for riding at night. If I get caught out in the rain, and it's good to have at night. It's good to have if for some reason I don't want to wear the glasses. So we'll just set that there. Actually, I have two bubble shields. I have, a, uh, I have a mirrored one that's basically tinted. You can wear in the daytime if you want. And then I have the clear one for, for night and all that. And then we have a couple of uh, you know, bandanas. That's kind of a biker thing. Got to have the bandana with you wherever you go, just in case. You never want to put it on your head look like a biker, a real biker. So I carry the bandana with me. It also works well if you don't have the bubble shield on and you're getting pelted with the rain. You can put the bandana over your face, around your neck if you need to. I don't know. Do all kinds of things with the bandana. But then I also have this this little uh, dealio here from SA. I'm not sure what it stands for, but I bought like five of these for 20 bucks, and they got the uh, the sunproofing SPF. 50 or whatever so you can wear it over your face if it's cold or around your ears and your head if you're not wearing a helmet and you don't want to get sunburned around your neck whatever i just thought it was cool so i bought a, about five of them for 20 bucks you know and then something everybody has to have in their saddlebags when you're traveling a koozie a little beer koozie this one happens to uh fold up or roll up on itself and it's the Jack Daniels koozie that I got for free at the College World Series, but but it's awesome. Yeah, it really is. It keeps the beer nice and cold, or you, or soda pop. I mean, maybe you're not drinking a beer, maybe you sing soda pop. I don't know, but I have it because it's you know just one of those things you like to carry out with you. Now that I have room to do that in my motorcycle bags, these bags right here, they're awesome. Everybody who has a bagger knows that. I have a sweatshirt in case it gets chilly. And I get caught, per se, with my pants off, or my sleeves off, I can put a sweatshirt on. Okay, we got this uh, kickstand puck, because if you're in the grass or dirt or uh, hot asphalt, sometimes your bike wants to sink into the asphalt. You can't have that happening. You can't have this beautiful machine falling down on you. Um, I also got uh, sunscreen, which would work a whole lot better if I actually put it on once in a while. I'm just getting over a major burn from a three and a half hour ride I did last weekend. Didn't put any sunscreen on. I'm like an idiot. I paid for that. Then I have some uh, just some disposable earplugs in case the noise gets to be too much for me while I'm out on the road. And then I have the old rain suit. Uh, this rain suit really kind of sucks. I didn't pay that much for it. That's probably why it sucks. But, you know, in a pinch, when you absolutely have to have a rain suit, it's fine. I think it's like a... I'm sure it says on here what it is. Yeah, it's a Nelson rig. Um, 
Storm Rider two-piece rain suit. But again, I paid like 50 bucks for it, and I'm sure a quality one costs way, way more than that. And sometimes you get what you pay for. Sometimes you can fudge it. Sometimes you get what you pay for. In this instance, I got exactly what I paid for, which was a practically useless rain suit, but whatever. And then I have uh, just my manuals. Kept the manual in there for some reason, because it was in there, I suppose, and my registration and stuff like that. So that's basically the gear that I'm carrying on the bike with me. Um, this saddle bag over here is completely void of anything because I gave that one to my wife. I told her she could have one of the bags and carry whatever she needs for our little trips and poker runs and stuff like that. So when she goes, she throws a hat or a sweater or something in there, make a bag, shotgun shells. I mean, I don't, hell, I don't know what all she carries with her, but there ain't nothing in there now because for some reason she thinks she's got to take everything off the bike every time she gets off of it. So that's fine too. But, but my stuff stays on the bike all the time. Her stuff, Meh. Meh. not so much but uh, it's great having this space I'm telling you it is awesome to have that kind of space uh, on the bike I mean it's ridiculous because I used to carry nothing with me because I had nowhere to carry anything uh, the most I could get was that rain suit really crunched down into an axle bag on my soft tail and uh, or if I thought it wasn't gonna rain I could throw a baseball hat in there but either way I was only taking one thing with me Maybe a couple of tools that I could just throw in the bottom. And that's what's missing from this bag right now, actually, is my tools. At some point, I'm going to have to go through and figure out what tools I want to carry with me and throw a couple of, at least a couple of little things in there in case, yeah, I don't know, somebody's Honda breaks down and I have to stop and help them get it running again because this pig's never going to break down. I can tell you that right now. Not this bad boy. Mm -mm. But uh, anyway, yeah, so that's just like some of my gear. I really I wear t-shirts when I ride. I, I don't even have a leather jacket. I should get one because it gets cold here in Iowa. But I'm a fair weather rider, so if it's too bad, I just I just stay home. But actually, I can get away with wearing a sweatshirt most of the time. I mean, even if it's in the 40s, 50s, sometimes, you know, I just throw on a sweatshirt with another long sleeve shirt and I'm good to go. So that's about it. That's about all for my gear video. Um, can't really think of anything else. I showed you my super awesome motorcycle cowboy boots in one of the other videos and uh, you know blue jeans. You know I have my chain wallet that I like to wear sometimes when I'm riding just in case the wind takes my wallet out of my pants I guess or something. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's just like cool thing to have a chain wallet. I don't think there's really that much function to it. I mean I guess maybe there is but I don't know. But uh, yeah that's about it man. Some gloves. Some sunglasses, these sunglasses that I wear all the time. That's pretty much what I do. Uh-oh. See my youngin's pulling in here. She's just now getting her driver's education going, so this could get sketchy. So let me watch myself here. All right, she's doing well. She's not gonna run me over, it doesn't look like, so we're good to go. So anyway, that's today's video. Peace out, be happy. Thank God for everything you have. Later.